Come with me, come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, visit lands both far and cold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, blast galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi! Our tale today is about a young man who had lived all his life on a small farm in the remote corner of a great kingdom. He'd spent most of his time in the fields and woods, and he had learned to understand the language of wild creatures. But much as he loved the country life, he decided at last that he must see more of the great world. He walked for many miles, until, very thirsty, he lay down to take a drink from the stream. Oh, that's good. What was that? Why, you poor thing. There you are. Thank you. I'll remember you. Then the young man continued on his way. Ouch. Oh. I thought I heard a voice. You did. A king ant. Your Majesty, can I do anything to help you? You can use another path. All you humans keep on walking over our village and breaking our houses. Why, I'm sorry, King Ant. Of course I'll use another path. And what's more, I'll make a barrier so that no one else can come this way. Thank you, young man. We'll remember your help. <laughs> You three birds look a bit young to be trying your wings. Don't you think you should get back into your nest? We would if we could. We were hungry and thought we could manage on our own. When night comes, we will freeze. No, you won't. You'll be snug and warm in your nest. There. And here's part of my lunch. Thank you. We won't forget your kindness. The young man traveled on towards the capital of the kingdom until at last it came in sight. Oh, I never dreamed it would be so beautiful. What's all the excitement? The king is going to announce another contest with the princess as the prize. The princess? Can anyone win her? Yes, but no one ever has. Sixty men have tried already and lost their heads. <laughs> what are the rules of the contest? No one knows. The king makes up new ones each time. What a strange contest. The princess! The princess! What a prize. Well, who will try for my daughter's hand this time? Please, your majesty, if I may... What, you? <laughs> what is your name, pumpkin? Hayseed? <laughs> yes, sire. <laughs> you mean it is Hayseed? Yes, your majesty, that's my name. Oh, let him try, father. Well, the contest is open to anyone. If this hayseed wants to throw his life to the winds... <laughs> Please, Your Majesty, what do I have to do? This lake is the deepest in all my kingdom. You must bring that ring back to me before morning. Or else, well, <laughs> you know. And so hayseed tried to carry out the task. He swam and he dived again and again, but with no success. Finally, tired out, he climbed out onto the bank. Now I can repay you for your kindness. The ring. Oh, thank you. Well, I never thought I'd see this ring again. Now I'm going to set you another task. My boy, your second task will be a bit harder than the first. But then, nothing worth having comes easy. Now. Each and every one of those seeds must be picked up and put back in the sacks before sunrise, or else. <laughs> I'll do my best. And so poor Hayseed picked seeds until his back ached. But when he looked around, it seemed as though he hadn't even started on his task. Finally, tiredness overcame him, and he fell asleep. He woke just as the rays of the sun began to appear. It must be magic. Not one seed left on the ground. No, not one. Hello, young friend. Are you surprised? I certainly am. It's amazing. Was it your aunt who finished filling the sacks? You helped us when we needed it. We were glad to help you. 
Hmm. You must be very persistent. Oh, I am, sire. Well, I'll set you a third task. And this one is really difficult. Hmm. In fact, it's impossible. Are you sure you want to try it? Your Majesty, I don't want to live without the princess now. So I might as well try anything. Oh, good. Then I'm rid of you at last. <laughs> now, Hayseed, somewhere in my kingdom is the well of wisdom. You must discover this well and bring back what you find in it. Really puzzled now, Hayseed set out to search for the well of wisdom. He looked everywhere, but no one could tell him where to find it. Months passed, and then years. At last, he reached a cool oasis in the middle of a distant desert. Who are you? We were younger when you saw us last. And lost from our nest. And hungry. The three eaglets. How large you've grown. What are you doing here? We heard about your tasks and have come to help you. I am looking for the well of wisdom, and I have to take back what I find in it. You have found the well. You mean this is the well of wisdom? Yes. Look. What do you find in it? Only my own reflection. <gasps> Am I to take back myself? Yes, for your kind heart is the best source of wisdom. But what can I tell the king? The king died more than a year ago. And the princess? She is waiting for you. You helped us, and so now we will help you. Oh, you come back. Yes, the task is completed. But I don't know how to tell you what I found. You don't have to. I've known it all along. And so Hayseed and the princess were married and ruled the kingdom long and well because they had both found that kindness was the best source of wisdom. You see, it does pay to be kind in all ways.